Okay, we're going to try and set up this camera for back button focus and we'll also look at the uh, focusing uh, groups and how to move the focusing point around the camera. Right, what we've got here is a Canon 5D Mark IV but it will also work for the Mark III, Mark II and the Canon 7D uh, Mark II and possibly other uh, versions as well. So to get to use back button focus what we need to do is divorce the shutter button from the automatic focusing. What we also need to do is turn the camera into AI servo mode as well. So the first thing we'll do is press the Q button and move over to the bottom left where you'll find um, the AI servo mode. Normally the camera will be starting on one shot but just move that over to AI servo and select it. Now what we need to do is go into the custom menu and on the first option there uh, which is the shutter button we select and it would normally be on um, shutter button, take the picture and do the autofocusing as well. But we want to stop that. So we go on to metering only, metering start. Go down to the next button, which is the AF on button. Select that button and select AF. So it will actually autofocus when you press that button. Select. Now that's basically set up the uh, standard button so that when I press the shutter button the camera will not focus and it will only focus when I press the AF button. Now a really handy thing is it's not always quick to change the different types of focusing groups so normally I use spot meter, uh, a single uh, point on the AF but what I can do is set up the secondary button to do like a grid. So again, go into Q uh, button, pick uh, custom controls, move down to the third button, which is this one with the star, select that. Again, select, I want to use AF metering, but this time press the info button and go down to AF area selection mode and you can preset it to a particular type so you can pick any of the other types you wish and in my case I'm going to pick the expanded, expanded area which is nine uh, focus points and I'll select that. Now I'll go back to the menu Now what I'll do is I'll go into the info button and basically here we've got a representation of what you'd see through the viewfinder. So I can press AF and then I can use the joystick to move the point around. If I press the second button, I get the expanded version and I can focus either on a point or an expanded version just by moving my thumb a centimetre if, if that. Now the advantage of that is that um, for sports action type uh, photography, quite often if, if, the, if the object, you know, a bird is sitting on a perch, you can probably just use a single point and get a more accurate uh, focus lock on, say, the eye. But in the bird in flight, where it's moving quite fast, it's very difficult to keep that point on the bird, so you can shift over and go for an expanded um, AF and use nine points or uh, one of the even wider ones if you wish and that's a very quick way of changing your focus position so I can move over move over and I can just switch between the two very easily now there are some other um, things that can help speed you up as well Normally, to move the focus points or change um, the type of focus groups, you have to press this button on the end here, 
which is the um, focus focus uh, button and you can see it there and I can change the points but the problem is I have to keep um, pressing that button before these two now what you can do is get direct access so again Q button and I can move down to the joystick itself and say normally it's set to off it doesn't do anything but if I pick uh, direct AF it means I get when I move it it moves directly without having to press that button and this is also true for this special button we have here on the um, 5D Mark IV which changes the, the, the cycles through the different cycle groups normally you'd have to press that button but what you want to do is um, pick that one direct so again we'll go in go down to that particular button and it's normally set to off and what you want to do is set to direct AF there we go now let's, on this on the uh, 5D Mark IV you have this special button on the 7D it's actually a, a little toggle switch that sits around the um, joystick but they do exactly the same function so to show you that if I press this button you can see it cycling through the different types okay now you've got a number of different types there but you possibly don't want to use all of them because having to cycle through say seven different ones is time consuming so you can actually change the setting so if I go into menu and go to page four on AF uh, you have the selectable areas and what you can do is if I, I use spot I could decide um, whether to use uh, the 5 or the 9 um, or any of the zone types so what I've done is I've, I've turned some of them off so that I don't need to cycle through but you can pick any ones you, you like to use just remember to hit the OK before um, coming out of that menu another option this, this can vary depending on uh, the camera model is the selectable AF points you can go for all which basically means it will use all the focus points whether they're cross type or not cross type is the most accurate uh, AF points and if on the 5D uh, Mark IV you can go for cross type only which is the, sh the best so I'll select that but for example on the 7D Mark II they're all cross type so you just don't have that option okay so I'll bring up the menu again and as you can see I can move the point or if I press the button I can cycle through the ones that I have enabled now a good tip is that when I'm moving the uh, focus point let's just use one if I move over you can see it jumping over the cross type uh, the non cross type points uh, but it's very quick to move them around they can move diagonally um, up and down if I want to get back to the center just push the joystick in and it will jump to the center if I push again it will go back um, to where it was before now the way I can show that better is if I go into info here's a what you'd actually see in the viewfinder so if I press AF move push it down it will go to the center push it again it will go back to where you were before so that's quite a nice way to toggle so you can decide um, where you want your AF point now a couple of points on this is that usually the center focus point is the, is the best and fastest so when you're tracking birds you've really got to, you try it yourself see see how you go the advantage of of just being in the center uh, means that you've got the best AF point 
but the problem is the bird you're trying to get the bird's eye um, that will be in the center of the frame now if it's flying left to right you might prefer to move it over slightly so that the bird is, eye is to the right of the frame and possibly better centered in in the um, picture but uh, try both methods and see how you get on with them okay if we go back to the menu there's one more thing on the AF uh, that's of interest obviously there's lots of options um, on the first page is you've got different cases of how the tracking works now if I move up you, the first one is just the default um, and that's where you'll probably start off but you can move down and what they do is they offer different ways of the focusing system to work so case two is to basically keep the keep the point on the object you're trying to track and ignore anything that gets in its way now typically you might find uh, case two better for uh, sports action just purely that say if you're tracking a footballer if another footballer comes in 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 front of the camera the, the tracking will stay on the one you were originally tracking for a, for a second or so if you move down to the next one if that player or a different bird came into focus in front it would immediately lock onto that new item so you can you can adjust how the focusing system works and you've got these presets and what they're doing is they're actually changing these three settings here so uh, if I go back you've got the sensitivity so basically if, if I go into sensitivity what that's basically saying is if I reduce the sensitivity it will stay on the item you're tracking for a longer period if I move it to the plus anything that comes in front it will immediately lock onto that instead so you can adjust that yourself and you've got two other options here you've got the acceleration deacceleration and how quickly um, if you're using clusters of points how quickly it will use the other points rather than the main point in the middle so again you've got a certain amount of control and what that's doing um, and as you go down these presets you you can see basically the options changing so that gives you an idea of what they're doing so you can see them changing as I scroll through but to start off with I'd go for case two in most cases for sports action and birds in flight that type of thing anything moving reasonably fast and is likely to get um, objects or people moving in front of your your focus point thank you